the pleasure to introduce to Ludwig Sarkov, who will speak about categorical based profiles and applications. Thank you very much, John. Thank you all for the speak at this uh, nice conference. Uh, and it's always uh, nice to be able to extend. So, um, what uh, I was going to uh, talk about is uh, some uh, uh, perspectives uh, on uh, theory of the uh, linear system. And uh, so let me mention a couple of uh, papers that uh, you can find on the archive, which uh, talk about uh, some of the stuff I'll be discussing, and uh, and so I'll mention some names. And uh, so uh, we give us an ongoing process 
And then uh, if I walk between uh, point, say the get the book circuit, we get the book circuit, and then we have that um, we have uh, one and two point uh, And of course, we can think of uh, this uh, uh, as uh, taking a set uh, uh, of canonical uh, class which pass through uh, one point on a class of canonical class which pass through one point uh, in a uh, given point in P2. So the reason why I'm uh, taking this approach to linear system it's suggested a little bit by zero symmetry, and uh, I only say this in order to give a, a little bit of motivation, so I won't uh, use so much mirror symmetry uh, in uh, this talk. So, uh, mirror symmetry is a little bit of P2, it's uh, equivalent to uh, a certain category on the symmetric side, and that's the so called current side of category. Of uh, the potential W equal to and so this is a category of C2. So let me briefly tell you what uh, this uh, category is. So we have this uh, perversion of uh, open elliptic curve from C2, and so it gets uh, three singular parts. And it's uh, a progression over here. And uh, you can uh, easily convince yourself that uh, uh, a function in this category, GPRC2, which is a three by KFC2, corresponds to the rotation around all these uh, fibers. So, uh, around infinity, the like of this one-go uh, 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 model. So, uh, yeah, so the factor of this thing by KFC2, where this one model, corresponds to going uh, around, I uh, would uh, like, uh, it's, uh, this is a point of infinity, rotation around infinity is what corresponds to this function. So rotation uh, here corresponds to increasing by k of c2. And so um, the reason for that is that the objects of this category are symbols, and uh, so we have uh, that for that, and so uh, so this rotation of the uh, symbol, which uh, corresponds to uh, with by uh, uh, pH, uh, can be seen as the uh, indeed action of uh, the dysfunctor uh, on the side of the uh, side of category. So um, now I will not. Uh, uh, go into the details of that side of category, I'll uh, refer for this observation to that. Uh, now, if I go up, so I see a point on C2, so the right category of C2 changes, and uh, we get uh, one more object. And so the effect of this small uh, look on the mirror side is that we add one more simple fiber. And then uh, the going around the infinity here, 
the time to go to form to go to by a of the top. And then, uh, of course, we can talk about relative function, real life relative set function. And so we get, uh, in a way, here two rotations, one over infinity, and then another over this three point. And so that uh, it actually was uh, correspond to three by uh, KF1 minus KF2, which uh, in categorical language it is called the uh, relative uh, uh, function. So indeed, uh, we can think of this uh, function of switching by line bundles as uh, some combination of this uh, rotation in the corresponding uh, uh, bundle of uniform model. And of course, uh, that suggests that there could be some geometric way of seeing more functions on level of categories. Uh, so that's what uh, I'm going to try to uh, discuss uh, uh, in uh, my talk. So there's a hope that you can see more geometrically. Uh, from one of the input models from the perspective of the uh, function. Well, uh, in particular, pure linear system, so the zero of some section Defines a very close and the uh, analogy of this in categorical language is that we get two functors, the density functor and some other functors, and the uh, mass between these functors are called natural transformation of the and then the category defined by the form of zero of this natural transformation is something that we will call the category of the form. So that sort of information is, uh, I mean, basically we get some, uh, you know, a family of uh, very similar exceptions of morphism, and then they, is common zero to this morphism that uh, actually defines the subcategory. So there is a more precise way to say this, uh, but uh, I don't want to go into this now. So, uh, you go this through with Yes, but there is more than that, so that's a very simple definition, so there's a skin touch involved here, but uh, I really don't want to discuss it now. So in this, if I take one object for which both of them are zero, I can define some uh, uh, approximation of what we mean by this one. Subcategory, and I'll give examples now. So, um, <coughs> So let's say that to take an X between P2. And so the last category of this say P2 is known now to get to the following point. Where uh, P1, P2, and A3 are the sectional objects. And uh, alpha is the uh, so called quasi constant value. <laughs> so, 
clause is getting the function uh, L to be uh, switched by okay. AFL. Well, so, uh, there was a question, can you find the uh, surface which uh, has a level of homology look like uh, uh, C2, but uh, actually it's not C2, and uh, this uh, example was first produced by Marvel, this is the surface that we have a type, which or you get the same homology like uh, C2. So, I wonder if we need to set to call an element of the drive category itself a category, or is it a plus So this is a subcategory category of GPS. Oh, you can have an element. No, it's not a subcategory. It's a category. It's a E3R element. Yes, right. Okay. Okay. Now there's a piece of piece of piece already or not yet? Well, you can take all one of those two of these. This is a weak piece, not a fake piece. So this is a fake piece. Sorry. I'm going there. Well, alright, so there is a sequence of uh, uh, three exceptional objects. And some in some other category, which uh, consider the same orthogonal composition to the whole category. So, I'll Correct. So uh, now uh, the factor that I want to consider is uh, this one, and then um, the uh, observation is that uh, the category alpha can be seen. Well, once again, so I, uh, uh, on the very 
case of the bright language, uh, you could be defined uh, using uh, uh, certain skin structure, but uh, I want to kind of uh, keep it uh, allowed it to pass to the metric situation. I don't want to do this right now. <coughs> No, so the F is a function. So what you understand is you take all possible n for that this function from that entity to this function. Mm -hmm. So the F is a function. Which is the motion from the object to f of the orbit that is zero. Right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Could it, do we have to be clear to us that it's not a position? No, no, that's a position. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you have a line bundle, right, and then after transformation, so that function is just cancel with that line bundle, yeah. yes. then there's a section of that line bundle. Yeah, and maybe that, would that be all, is that all of them? No. No. Oh, okay. Meaning for this answer? Yeah, for that one. Yeah. It is. Yeah. For that oh, oh, I see. So for this answer, you actually yeah. have to say. I think so. So that's the total the analysis. Yeah, yeah. So the total analysis. If the answer is temporary on the L, yeah. then you have a natural transformation coming for section. Yeah. Evidently. Yeah, because it's well, yeah. Yeah. in this case, it's yeah. an answer with L, and it's actually this with that, and, and this or I'm not trying to say that. Is it pretty easy to prove that that's all there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, is this, sorry, if this is a positive law, what? Well, positive law, yeah. All right, uh, so now, okay, so let's uh, maybe give a little bit of uh, so I'll keep this uh, basic function with our function. So let's say with the function with the quarter in these two. Two is by one bundle. Um, so uh, how can we uh, study this uh, uh, function? And so uh, the first uh, approach to this is uh, basically to use some analogy with uh, the Ramsar system. And so um, the uh, an approach to uh, studying the function from the perspective of the analysis of system is going to use some invariance. And so I'll introduce an invariance uh, now, which is uh, the entropy of the end of function. So, uh, without uh, Saying too much, I'll just give a definition. So let's say that we have a category T, uh, which uh, I'll assume is a uh, uh, compass.
Én van a török, szóval azt mondja, hogy a kártyáti volt, hogy nem volt itt. Ez az a objektív kártyáti volt, a hút. És a mozizom, a perfection number, és a name of for more. Time you are safe, which uh, is uh, associated with the uh, human surfaces of human gene, and it gets this complexification by adding this uh, certain complexification by adding the quadratic differential. And then a quadratic differential on a human surface defines the correlation, and uh, this. Uh, Uh, for the agents, actually here's a property that uh, uh, if I consider a two or not of transformation, uh, they uh, actually act uh, on this room 